Hey everyone, I just want to start by saying thank you for such a huge honor. Uh, I'm a little overwhelmed, to be honest, by such a big honor when in so many ways I feel like, you know, the mission at Big Loud is just getting started. But today I stop and realize that it's been about nine or ten years uh, almost on the nose for the record label. And it just, it astounds me because I remember a moment when we <clears throat> counted the money we'd saved in the account and we knew we had three and a half years if we'd sold no records. Uh, and we did sell some records and we kept going. Big Loud's a creator first business, so I'd like to first start off by thanking the creators. To the Big Loud artists, songwriters, and record producers, we are nothing without your genius and creative spirit. I also want to give a big shout out to the department heads and employees at Big Loud. This award is just as much yours as it is mine. Big Loud was never just about myself, Joey, Craig, and Chief. It's about all of us. I also want to give a big shout out to my wife, Rakaya, who uh, constantly supports the crazy schedule we have. This week alone, we rented an Airbnb to bring our children down because we have to go to New York right away on Friday and couldn't imagine being gone that long. So the fun for us is trying to find the balance. And baby, I thank you so much for, for meeting me there every day. I want to thank Mercury and Republic for being such a great disco partner and Billboard Magazine for constantly supporting country music uh, and its artists. I want to get through that part because I have a couple stories I want to tell. Tonight, instead of reiterating what's been expertly covered in Jessica's article, I want to focus on my colleagues Stacy and Candace and how they've been instrumental to our success with their respective sacrifices. <laughs> Stacy has been a close friend now for 15 years. When it was time to start a label, she was nearly the, my very first call. Just this week, she achieved something historic with her team uniting the entire country music panel for a single release with Post and Morgan's I Had Some Help. Stacy, thank you for believing in Big Loud before just about anybody. Now look at you go. Candace Watkins, a fellow manager I met years ago, now a marketing genius. She brings creativity and a deep sense of natural leadership to our team. She views artists as people first, guiding them with trust and empathy, which is truly a rare trait in our industry. Now, if you know Stacy and Candace, you know they're nearly quite opposites personality-wise. But early on, they each had one big thing in common. They weren't cheap. They knew their worth. They each had lucrative careers building with securities and weren't just about to give that up for just anybody. The Big Loud partners were just crazy dreamers who were chasing the inspirational stories of Motown, A&M, and many more. But I guess they saw something in us too. We only had one thing that we could give them to join us, and that was a piece of the company. It was a piece of our dream and a chance for them to bet on themselves. That type of decision for Stacy and Candace, I'm sure, wasn't an easy one as it came with no guarantees, a high likelihood of failure, and therefore a big possibility we'd all have to start over again one day. But a bet on themselves all day long. They took it immediately. They actually put it all on the line personally, and sometimes I wonder, if people actually know all the sacrifices the two of them have made. Candace constantly sacrifices more and more of her personal time consistently to show up for the artists and her employees. I've watched her cancel countless family and family friend trips to instead show up for the artists and show up for the company that she helped create. In the first year of our company, Stacy quite literally took only one week of maternity leave after having her mini-me, Frankie. Who does that? I'll never forget the image of Stacy rocking an infant in the boardroom chasing radio ads. We tried our best to convince her to take more time for herself, but if you know Stacy, she gets that determined look in her eye like no one can, and she persevered. We were in the middle of just launching our company, and her own future was on the line. And I think if you ask her, Frankie's future was on the line. I tell those two quick stories to highlight the years of incredible sacrifices folks around us has, has made uh, around our offices so I could be standing here. This isn't about me, it's about us. It's about people like Candace and Stacy who put their own lives on hold to feel the adrenaline rush of being an entrepreneur. And they are. Today, they've helped build a very sustainable and healthy company with many benefits to the employees that were never there before. The current employee base is truly standing on their shoulders. They made our company a much better place. Here's my favorite part. And for Stacy and Candace, well, they're officially somewhat on the other side of the struggle. I tear up a little bit every fall for the last few years 
as we hand out those profit share bonuses to these folks who left a sure thing and believed in our mission. I smile very big as I see rich Aunt Candace take her niece and nephews courtside to an NBA game around Christmas time. <laughs> and flush Stacy Blythe, truly making up for a little lost time with young Frankie, often taking her back to home to Pittsburgh to remind her the importance of family. But of course, she still takes her on promo runs because our mission isn't quite done. And also, who says no to a kid for an ad? I'm sure Candace isn't super pumped with me right now that I shared her least favorite nickname around the office, but she, earnest, she earned it the hard, honest, working way. The way I see it, folks like Stacy, Candace, Patch, Austin, Sarah, Kimberly, and many more at Big Loud are just as self-made as the partners. We couldn't have done it without them, and to still be on this journey with many of them makes it all the more sweet. They're the real executives of the year. So thank you again to, to Billboard for this honor. You've thrown such a great party. And thank you for uh, bringing us all the way down to downtown Dallas. Have a good night.